Hello, welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And yes, I have a whole new setup. I'm trying to go in a whole new direction. Um, some of you know, media has always been my passion. So this is what um, I'm going to be uh, more focused on. I might still do a mukbang here and there, but it's going to definitely be ministry and media. So I'm excited. I'm excited. But what I want to talk about today is, are, are we really, are, 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 are we really social distancing ourselves? I mean, really, as you know, the stores, the shelves have been empty. I mean, you cannot buy bread. You cannot buy tissue. I mean, in the meat department, it's just barely. You know, I know where I live, meat department, you're going to see like beyond beef or beyond meat because it is just that bad. But this is what I'm saying. Are we really social distancing? Because we're still getting out. And I'm going to tell you, most of us do not have to get out. Most of us do not have to get out. And I kind of went on a, a rant. I guess it was a rant, a vent, or something to the, on Facebook. But anyway, I was talking about like, really, if you buying all the stuff in the grocery store and you at the grocery store every day trying to see what it is that you need or what you didn't get, are you really social distancing yourself? Because what I'm trying to figure out is we don't bought all this food. Why are we still in restaurant lines and restaurant um, curbside service? What what are we really doing? This is what what this is why we are the, at the state that we are now. This is why every time you look turn the news on, it's more and more cases. It's more and more people that have died because we won't stay at home. Listen, in my house, even my me and my husband are practicing social distancing for real because I'm not working, but he is. And because he's out, like, working for the public, because he works for the city, we still got to be very careful. Like, when he come in, he got to make sure he wash, um, wash his hands and take off, uh, take off the work clothes and spray himself and get a shower and all of that because he can't afford to expose me to anything. Even being so that I'm a cancer survivor. So my immune system has been compromised on several occasions. So stay at home. Stay at home, people. This is what I'm trying to understand. If we got all this food, (laughs) I guess I keep going back to this. If we got all this food, why are we still... At restaurants, in drive-throughs, curbside. Well, I mean, every the, the store, the grocery store, got to be packed every day. Walmart is packed every day. You don't have everything you need by now, because at some point we're gonna have to sit still and just. If you run out of something, you're just gonna have to run run out. Because this is getting serious and it is getting closer and closer to my house, to your house, to my family, to your family. We got to really practice this whole six feet apart for real. And this is what I, that is what I want to talk about. Let me know. Let me know what you're doing in your home, what is being done in your city or your state. To create more social distancing. Because Wednesday, I think it was just Wednesday this past, I got a text from my brother, which he was he texted me last night, and he was like, A thousand people died. A thousand people just died of coronavirus. That's it. No heart attack, 
no uh, cancer, no net, but we all know that people die, die every day of cancer and heart attacks and car wrecks. But this stuff that we can contain and we can help and we can start uh, spreading a thousand people. And it's going to keep on climbing if we do not stay at home. Let me know. Let me know what y'all doing to practice social distancing. And are y'all practicing social distancing?